Good evening, everybody. This is Thor here. I'm bringing you another video. And I hope everybody had a very good weekend. In my last video, we talked about the 15 games that appeared at the PlayStation State of Play. And for this video and the ones that are be coming up in the near future, I'm going to be doing an info dump of brand new information that came out for each game that I'm mostly looking forward to. And the first one we're going to talk about, Team Asobi, returning character, our little robot friend, Astrobot. It's been a very while, it's been a while since we had a brand new Astrobot game. Uh, the last one was the pack and package game that came with, uh, if you bought a PS5. So Team Asobi have been hitting the books working on their brand new series for the our little robot friend and by the looks of it this one is going to be a big old adventure for him and i can't wait to see what they have coming by the time of this recording i've been a uh, new info that came about astrobot was this game will be four times bigger from astrobot rescue mission and will have no microtransactions so so far they're all to a very good start I will be posting the link to the PlayStation blog in case you want to read the info for yourself. Well, further ado, let's get on with the new information with Team Asobi Astrobot. Our first info from the PlayStation blog it says in this brand new game, we will explore six galaxies and over 80 levels in search of asteroid, Astro Scatter Crew. Hold on tight to your dual speeder and dive down to each unique planet from lush forests, sandy beaches hot volcanoes to more surprising locations such as a gigantic hourglass or or the canopy of a singing tree. The fact that Ashby is going to have over 80 levels and 6 different galaxies, this could be a very long game compared to his previous entries, some that were on the VR and some from regular PlayStation uh, from the packing game. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. And by the summit, it, it sounded like uh, most likely Astrobot crew was attacked and they all got scattered in different galaxies and Astrobot is the only one that could gather them back. Uh, if we're going off from the rescue mission, is more than likely the characters that we're saving are basically Astro versions of different PlayStation IPs for over the 25 years. So we could be seeing like Probably like an Astrobot version of Kratos, Alloy, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Jack, Sly Cooper, maybe somebody from from second part, third part, like Cloud, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. So I can't wait to see what those kind of what kind of missions those are. Hopefully they're not. Hopefully each galaxy is very unique, and so are the levels. All right, on to the next one. The next info talk about his new abilities. It reads, 15 new abilities offer unique playstyle as you would expect from an Astro game. These take full advantage of the DualSense controller. It's haptic feedback and adaptive triggers so you can feel every little step along the journey among the main powers. You will find Barkster, the Bulldog Booster that lets you air dash and smash through enemies. Metal and glass, the twin frog gloves that offer long range punching, and the ability to swing, and the giant sponge that lets you suck up water from the environment to grow huge and cause massive and slightly moist. I like how they put that. Uh, destruction combined with improved astral controls. These new powers take the actual platform experience to the new heights. While remaining accessible for all, we can't wait for you to get your hands on these and let us know how you how they feel. Alright, the fact that Astro got 15 new abilities, they did talk about a couple of them. Uh, they got the Bulldog Booster, the Twin Frog Gloves, and something that lets you become a... Gives you the ability to suck on water like a giant sponge. So, yeah... Astro is not just a platform, there will be some combat in this game if you're looking at the video playing in the background, so that kind of, that's kind of, yeah, it's basically right there. So I definitely can't wait to uh, what we experience. They definitely put a lot, they 
they put a lot of thought into how Astro is going to play, so I can't wait to experience it, in my opinion. Alright, let's check on to the next one. This one reads, we also cranked up the number of baddies to with over 70 new types, including massive bosses at the end of each galaxy. Special mention to the deadly Cobra Queen Lady Venomara, who appears in the trailer waiting for you and her golden lair. Defeating each boss will uncover a wonderful secret, but we don't want to spoil that so our lips are sealed. And for the brave ones of you craving even more challenge, the game comes packed with a die and retry levels to test your reflexes. Ooh, I, I could definitely see a lot of people taking on that challenge because by the sound of it, it's like uh, basically you die once you retry the whole level instead of having it. To my knowledge, I don't believe Astro had a life, but if, that, if that's the case, then yeah, a lot of people would definitely try out that challenge. I am curious what is the secret that you will get when you beat a boss. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to that to try that out. I might even try to die and retry level tests just to see how it is. That will be fun and interesting to see. Uh, we're almost done here. We got two more info to go over. But that's not all. During this epic adventure, Astro will reunite with many friends from the PlayStation universe. The trailer shows only a few, but we double down on the cast and hope to delight every PlayStation fan out there. And who knows, maybe this time these characters will play an even bigger part in saving the day. Wink. That's all for now. Thank you for reading at Team Asobi. We believe in the second to the second fun and joy of video game. And with this new Astro Bot game, we invested all our love and craft to bring constant smiles to your face as you run, jump, bop enemies, and find the many secrets and jokes we are dotted around. All right. The plate, the number of characters they could put in the in this game from the history of PlayStation is astounding because I believe at, at the time of me recording this I believe it was said there will be 100 of 150 PlayStation uh, characters that will appear in Astro Bar and if that number is true then that's that's a good 25 years of PlayStation history or probably a little bit more than that so I can already tell uh, there are definitely going to be Kratos, Alloy, Nathan Drake, uh, probably Ellie and Joel uh, the trailer does show some characters like Parappa the Rapper but there's a lot of characters that could appear that had strong ties to the PlayStation ecosystem. Uh, like I said, we might see uh, more Final Fantasy characters because in Ashbot Rescue Mission, I believe we only got to see, we got to see like Cloud Buster Sword. We saw Dante from Devil May Cry. I believe, who else did we saw? It's been a while I played the game, but there were definitely a lot of characters, very some unique characters that we got to see. So, and the fact that there's possibly added more on top of the ones I just named off. So I'm definitely excited to see what they have. All right, on to our last bit of info. All right, the last info read will be waiting for you on September 6th. We'll be back soon with more details about the game as well as pre-orders opening up June 7th. Until then, part of your DualSense, Team Asobi, and Astro are taking you on a PlayStation Space adventure to remember. And they show the physical copy of Astrobot. So that's all the info I have on Astrobot as of now. So what do you guys think? Is it a day one purchase for you, or are you gonna wait to see how much it is? I know uh, since this is not gonna be a packing game like the previous titles or VR, 
uh, how much you think the game would be? For me, the game was good as a day one purchase. I truly enjoyed my experience playing Astrobot in the pack in PS5 game, and I also played the VR version. So I can't wait to see what Team Asobi has in store for us for Astro next big adventure. Uh, as you saw, they said the game go live on September 6th, and during on Summer Game Fest, which is June 7th, the pre-orders will go live. And with that in mind, there might be a chance we might see some more info for Ashabot at the Summer Game Fest, but time will tell. So, this is the end of the video. What do you guys think? Uh, please leave a like and comment what you uh, thought. And let me know if you're going to get Ashabot or you're going to wait and see approach. So, this is Storm. I hope you guys have a good night and I'll catch you in the next video.